Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 152 of my Let's Play of Amayui Castlemeister. The credits and epilogue. So let's just take the credits time and do a bit of free talk. This was a good game, I have to say. The characters are pretty strong. The plot was really strong, and the gameplay was strong as well. I'd have to say if I were to recommend other games, gameplay-wise this is pretty analogous to Kamidori, Alchemy Meister, and there was also the game before that, Himegari, Dungeon Meister. You might consider that. I'm also told the gameplay has a lot of elements that are similar to the Fire Emblem series, I've never played it though. Now well, let's talk about our characters. Fia and Navarro are cool. Arturo Reina are also cool. Kisner is the hot chick of the of the game. Detail, because nothing says drug addict like doing drugs all of the time. Katorito, most character development. Risha and Seri, most delusional. Rosaline. Quite elegant. Mikshuana. Kind of a big question mark with her, actually. Gilsh. Aha. Good times. Farvel. Well, a bit tragic. Gaidal. Everybody hates Gaidal. Kudvans. Everybody hates Kudvans, too. Karl Nurk. Kind of a dickhead. Stupid jerk. Speech impediment. <laughs> this guy's hilarious. Uh, yeah, I guess these guys are in here too. They would be in the X game, as it is called. I think that it would have been possible for me to get into it if I had known how. Even in the first playthrough. At least that's what my experience with Oshuli Games tells me. But I didn't figure out how because I was pushing forward too much. In any case, if you can't do it on the first playthrough, well... Then you can't do it on the first playthrough and there was no way to do it anyway. Now, I would recommend trying to do it on your first playthrough. The X game in these games is really tough. For instance, we beat our final boss with character levels around 44-ish. In the X game you can expect enemies that actually get to the level cap of level 99. Not right away, but quickly enough. You know, thinking back on it, there was actually a element of Kamidori, Alchemy Meister, that I missed in this game. And that was paying your... paying all of your allies every few days or so and paying for other stuff. Because it helped give you a sense of the time that passed in-game. Here in Castle Meister you could spend like a year and a half before recruiting the second character and that would be fine. But it wouldn't feel like you were spending any time because none, no events showed time passing. So that's one thing I actually weirdly missed. Now, another critique I'd have to say is that Avar was pretty asexual. I mean, after Fia bedded him the first time, he never said he never tried to seduce anybody. Like early on, he had some sexual tension going on with him and Fia. He would crack dirty jokes, make innuendos, things like that. He didn't do that after betting her once. Never again would Avaro do anything sexual, except for the case of when he uh, sexed Rosaline's curse officer. 
but he only did it because of the curse. Basically the biggest asexual reason you could ever have for having sex. In any case, epilogue. After the incident in the gods' haze with Pariah and Fia, that was taken care of and some time has passed. Several times there were holy accords summoned up and with the news about Pariah known and how to deal with the taboo weapons, they talked about that. So the centerpiece of the Fuchsia faith, the fictional god Fuchsia, ultimately they decided not to make everything clear to all the believers. In other words, they're perpetuating lies self-consciously. I told you Kudvans was evil. So although they won't tell the whole truth, according to the narrative here, it's not completely a lie. It just becomes a new myth that's passed down in the kingdom. Kingdoms. And so, by this myth, Fuchsia, using his power, stayed in the god's haze all that time in order to suppress a great weapon that was there. So even though he was so distant for so many years, with everybody's faith he continued the fight so that uh, the world would not be harmed by that weapon. So he stayed there sealing it that whole time. Because of that, and the danger of the weapon, the holy grounds were sealed for all that time. And the Fuchsia faith, and all of its faithful, were with their power of belief, helping in his great work. But, in the end, the one who brought a conclusion to that war was the Fuchsia's daughter, the goddess of connections, Fia. Fia fought beside Fuchsia in the Holy Wars long ago, but she was wounded. And so, until the present time, she slept. And when she awoke, she had lost her godly powers and her memories a true tragic goddess. But even though she had lost her memories, she still, on a certain level, remembered the suffering of her father, Fuchsia. So the goddess Fia, in order to go after her, her father, who sacrificed himself, started to move. She burst through many obstacles, but there were many with whom she connected on the way, as she continued to the God's haze. And there in the holy ground she met again. She had a reunion with Fuchsia. And the two gods, using the power of many believers, were finally able to destroy that great taboo weapon completely and with this great work completed Fuchsia left everything behind to Fia as he returned to the heavens so this is the story that ended up being told in the Fuchsia faith nominally again the narration states it's the truth such as it were Anyway, that's what the eminent people of the countries spread as the truth. So in Influs, as well as Raul Rosso, Santa Siet, and Raxusia, that's how the story went down. So the humans, the beastmen, the elves, the dragons, all of them working together got the two gods 
this uh, shining history here. So everybody seems to enjoy this beautiful story. And the Holy Grounds, which up until now had been protected by that barrier, is now open to pilgrimages, which incidentally happen to be increasing. So the countries and soldiers that are affiliated with the Fuchsia faith have started renovating and exploring the God's Haze. Now that it's open to entry to the believers, a large part of it is, is taking place under the watch of the high priest Kudvans and the Influence Kingdom General Gildinu Gildiu Fawbel. Man, her first name is unpronounceable. So this formerly sealed holy grounds is actually starting to look like, you know, holy ground now. And it's getting some tourist traffic. <laughs> well, great. So as this story spreads, the town of Kumail, the city of Rikvel, and the towns of Rubeta Termes, all the people in all those towns were quite overjoyed. After all, in the myth, they had their contributions. And they're quite proud to be included in it. So as this interesting story spreads about all the powers that fall under Fuchsia seem to be proceeding well. And the Gaidal company and everybody affiliated with it has become a target of investigation as well as the families of darkness and the people connected to them. And their numbers are starting to dwindle. Wahoo! And the organization's leader, in particular, Václav Geidel, is dead. So, the dark refiner's activities have been receding as well. But, they still have territory or they still have a degree of autonomy within Belgorod Kingdom to the northwest. So we can't say that it's completely disappeared. They have their strong they have they have their areas of strength still. But at this point it's generally thought that those humans that started a rebellion for their freedom won't be rising again. And furthermore, what they wanted this whole time, the weapons they use as a source of power, gods and spirits sealed within them, the taboo strategic, tra the taboo tactical weapons no longer exist. F the Fuchsia faith is making sure of that. After we made our analysis device, we were able to detect those magic crystals, magic stones, remember? We were able to find them at some... Oh, I don't even know what the scale is. Let's say it was 50 miles away. In any case, since that detection can be duplicated, the search goes on. So, even in our history, the Fuchsia Faith was wiping out those taboo weapons. And now they're just that more effective at it. Because we can detect these magic stones. And we have a way to free the god or spirit within. 
there's been a big change to the standard operating procedure. So the dragons and elves in particular are working together in scouring the land. When there is a god or sealed a god or spirit sealed within, they free them and protect them. And if there isn't one in, they destroy it. So, they're still getting that rounded in. Pretty soon there won't be any more taboos remaining in this world. Alright everybody, lunch is ready. Everybody take a break. So today we've got good weather. The perfect opportunity to be eating outside. Well, it looks tasty. Thanks as usual, you two. So, the Guadalcuna Castle, since Fia has been released from it, hasn't been able to move from where it was, from where it stood that day. Because it's lost its engine, so to speak, and the operation of the magic stones has been uh, halted. That's a nice way of putting it. There has been no way to move it. But even under those circumstances, Avaro, as usual, is attempting renovations and improvements. And as the Apostle of Thea, he wants to get it working again. <laughs> Okay, come on, Avaro. Stop working and come over here. Take a lunch break. So if you work too hard, it's bad for your body. When it's time to rest, you should rest. Otherwise, you'll get sick. Hmm. All right, I know. But Rosalini... You're saying that even though you know. And know what? I, since I became Fia's apostle, haven't gotten sick yet. Haven't gotten sick since. Hmm, <laughs> well, that is true. But come on, everybody's gathered up. Rosaline's smiling again. You should do that more. <laughs> and as Rosaline says, everybody's gathered together. All right then. Today's work is done for the moment. So this should probably go well. Ah, Fia hearing those words decides to ask about the results of his work. She's excited. So, so. Can we move the castle again and go on a journey? Yeah. It's slower than it was when Fia was controlling it. And clumsy. But... It can move. So he's been continuing his work. And finally, even without the power of the god, Guadalcuna Castle moves again. It's still very clumsy, and the power is underpowered compared to, well, you know, her. But it can walk again. And since it doesn't use the power of a god. The castle's existence is no longer considered taboo. So 
So this time, in such a way that nobody can, you know, randomly assault us for it, we can go on a journey in the castle. So she's been waiting so long. Now finally we can move in the castle again. You wanted to go on a journey that badly? Yeah, after all, going on a journey with Avaro and everybody was so much fun. So all of us meeting, all of us going to lots of different places, seeing lots of different things and meeting a lots of different people. <laughs> well, uh, after all you are the goddess of connections. But even if we do go on a journey, you are supposed to be nominally the responsible party of the Fuchsia faith. Is it really alright? She says she's not particularly responsible for it. It's just her name. And that she exists as a stand-in for her father. No matter where she is, what she has to do is, doesn't really change. So, as long as people believe in the Fuchsia faith, in her father and in her, their belief itself will help to, will help out the people who are in trouble. So, presently, Fia is Pariah's stand-in in the Fuchsia faith. Uh, kind of the central figure now. And in truth, Navarro is also uh, canvassed by Coup de Vance, since he is the apostle of Fia, that he should become the next high priest. But he hasn't got the stomach for that kind of stuff. He's just a simple craftsman at the end of the day. Well, from now on we're going to have to be paying taxes to the Infra's kingdom. So we'd better hurry up, resume our company business, and earn it. There was still that incident with the death of the Prince Gils Ruth and various fights we had. Now, knowing the position that Fia is in and that Avaro is the grandson of the High Priest and further that he is royalty as well really helped. But we can't say that all of our Crimes against the kingdom were erased because of it. So, from now on, the Gualacuna Company has to pay a pretty good quantity of tax to the Infra's kingdom. Hard to say whether it's a one-time thing or a recurring thing. Well, since this is the epilogue, I guess it doesn't matter if it's one time or recurring. Ah, but Eel says, now that we've worked hard with our work, in order to work hard at our work, we need to fill our stomachs properly. Now, come to think of it, Avaro, there's been a new request that's come in. So the materials we have on hand at the moment aren't going to be enough for this particular work. So in order to complete it, we're going to have to do an exploration. Haha, <laughs> it is. As, as expected, we're all busier. But that's good. 
since the castle's renovations are done for the moment, let's do our best with our company. So, Eol and Mikio are, as usual, helping out with the company work. They're really lively and a bunch of help. <laughs> and they're always working together. Oh, those two. And Rosalina is getting more into the business as well. At this point, she's basically acting as Avaro's secretary. She keeps track of inventory and manages the schedule. <laughs> well, drinking, drinking sake after a good workout is so tasty. <laughs> Risha says, I think that you say it's tasty even when you haven't been working out. Well, I don't want to lie to myself. You have to pay your respects to the tasty things in life. It's the way of the nights. Does that have any connection to the way of nights? How about you? You seem pretty laid back over there. It, just because we've just eaten, if you go to sleep right away, you're going to get fat. Well, her work as a ruler is quite violently demanding on her. So, when she gets the chance to rest, she should do it. Furthermore, there have been no changes to her body. Well, to say you do it from time to time, it actually seems you're lazing around here all of the time. <laughs> well, Kisner, as always, is doing her night work. She does the protection of the castle and the company. She's not affiliated with Dinfrulus anymore, but she's been recognized as among the Fuchsia Faith's Holy Knights. So she protects even more people now. And in Rishu's case, she returned to Ralrosu as the ruler, but before you know it, she was back on the castle all the time. I've always a little worried that she's neglecting her duties as a ruler. Hey, isn't that good? She's crazy anyway. There's probably a feast of Avaro every other week. Okay, Avaro, are we doing explorations uh, this afternoon? So, today's training is done. So if it's exploration of the vicinity, she'll come along as protection and as a knight. Okay, great. We'd be glad to have you along. Well, since the castle can move now, the vicinity that we get to explore is greatly expanded, hasn't it? <laughs> yes, it has. Sounds like fun, too. Risha does have good ideas. Yes, of course. And just like this, we should take up Raoroso territory as our base of operations. Well, even if we do make it our base of operations, we're not going to affiliate with you. Oh, 
They've rejected her before she even asks. As usual, they're so tough. But she's not giving up. Someday for sure she's going to draw Fia and Navarro into Rao Rosso. <laughs> Rishu never changes. Yeah, that's one of her good points, really. So, all of us are always having these fun times. They're noisy. Especially Rishu. But, well. <laughs> okay, Avaro. If you're going out, then I will accompany you. That's Mikshuana for you. Yeah, I know. You are assigned to watch me, after all. Well, it's good that you know. So, don't go leaving on your own, please. Take care not to. So, as for Mikshuana, she returned to Mazteria Temple once, but after that re re returned with another mission. That is, she's going to oversee Avaro now. Recall that he can make taboo weapons, or rather knows how to now. So in order to make sure that he doesn't do anything, just in case, she's going to be watching over him. <laughs> well, of course we're not going to leave you behind, Mikshuana. You're our ally, after all. <laughs> Fia, when you say it like that, you make it sound like Mikshuana would be lonely. Do you mean you wouldn't be? Fia, if she were apart from everyone, would be lonely. So, as long as we're together, it's more fun. <laughs> anyway, don't look at her so directly like that. It gets hard to deny what you're saying. So, it's the mission she's been assigned, but... Make sure Anna really does like being here. And Fia likes it that she's here. And Avaro has a connection with too, her too, so... Avaro thinks it's for the best. Doesn't this picture capture Deet's good, huh? Good side. This way we don't have to look at his butt-ugly face. And speaking of butts... No, wait, I didn't just say that. Anyway, he's saying... Avaro, I'm going to be doing my rounds through the surrounding villages. Ah, again with the traveling work. You're busy as usual. Yeah, once in a while I'd like to take it easy, though. So, Deet continues to lead the Aquatic Beasts Vanguard. And basically uses the castle as his center of operations. And as a skilled engineer in his own right, he helps a lot of people. Wandering around doing that. That's not the kind of thing you should be saying as you're standing there fishing, I think. It's because I don't have an opportunity to play with my kid. Understand that. If that's the case, you should take your lunch and have it with them. 
息子みたいなガキが嫌がるからな寂しがらせちゃいけないとの気遣いだ Hey, here too is a son-like brat Eh, a son-like brat A brat who is like my son And since he gets lonely so easily, I'm here in consideration for him Heh Your consideration doesn't really make me happy You should prioritize the child that you're actually connected by blood to So, Deed's got his wife and his kid. But he's continuing on to the castle. And he says that he hasn't got a chance to meet with his ki family that often. Hmm. Yeah. He leaves his family on the castle while he goes around to the surrounding areas. And he's trying to keep Avaro company. Although he's not straightforward enough to admit it. Latecomer, Katorito's here. So, everybody, are you eating? So she comes floating in. So, Katorito, if you want to, you can eat with us. That's good. She was really getting hungry. So, Katorito, in the village of the Dragon Tribes, spends most of her time, you know, doing her chieftain work. So she's separated from the castle, basically living in the Thunderhead Sea. But when she can find the time, she comes over to play, like this. She's taking good care of the, her connection with us, after all. <laughs> well, anytime she comes, she always feels Relax around here. <laughs> yeah, Guadalcuna Castle, this place. It's a place of healing for a lot of people. All right then, if we're done eating, let's go on an exploration in the castle again. Oh, we've been waiting. All right, I'm going to move the castle. Uh, no, Fia, you don't have to anymore. You don't have to be the one who moves the castle anymore. <laughs> oh, that's right. Kind of naturally, she thinks she's the one that does it. Well, on a basic level, the construction hasn't changed. So there's a core in there that has that builds up power. And so it can start the interior to you know all its revolutions in order to get the castle moving. So controlling the power and manipulating it properly. It doesn't really matter who moves it now. But since I've been putting it, working on it, something's been bothering me. Back then when Paraya went berserk and tried to get out, even though Fia wasn't controlling, manipulating the castle, the castle went and on its own moved. <laughs> Hey, Fia told you back then, didn't she? Everybody's wishes got to the castle and moved it. 
I'm a craftsman. I like to deal with things that actually obey laws of physics. So back then the castle was connected to you. And since it wasn't moving under your will, how could it move on its own? Hmm. You know, just maybe. Inside the castle, a separate will was born. What? A separate... What do you mean by a separate will? As a spirit. In that case, that the castle could move on its own wouldn't be that mysterious, would it? So I guess we could say that the castle is a spirit now? Well, that's Fia's theory. Ah, no way. A spirit that inhabits the castle? Just being born like that? That can't happen, right? Well, Avaro had never considered this answer. And <laughs> it's, it gets his heart racing. Whatever. But he shakes his head and brightens himself up. Alright, whatever. We don't need an answer right now. That's right, as long as we're happy, that's enough. So, if anybody can move the castle now, then Fia can do it as well. Yep. Anytime you want to, anywhere you want to go, we can, we can go on a journey. No matter what kind of danger there is, it'll carry you to any place you want to go. I guarantee it, as the Apostle of the Goddess of Connection, Sphia. So, all of us are going to be side, to, side by side together, never parting and supporting each other. Hey. And Fia, just like her smile that first day, beckons us out on our journey into the world. <laughs> so, all together let's depart on an adventure. Don't you love a happy ending? Now, finally, do you want to take the parameters from this game and overwrite the old parameters, if there were any? Yes, I think we do. So, that's that. <laughs> to start with, thanks for watching. This has been a very long Let's Play by any standard I know of. If you're hearing this, you put a lot of time into watching this series, so thank you for watching. I hope you derived a lot of information and entertainment from it. And on the topic of information and entertainment, in order to make my future Let's Plays better, I'd like to request your feedback. What did you want to see more of? What did you want to see less of? What made you bust a gut laughing? When did I frustrate you so much you wanted to stab your monitor? Do please leave a comment for the future of all mankind. Or at the very least, for the future of us here at No Export For You. As of now, my next let's play will be the recently released new chapter of Mon Miss Quest Paradox RPG. After that, We'll find more great Japanese games that won't likely see an official English, J English release. Hence our Let's Play studio name, No Export For You. 
So feel free to subscribe if more Let's Plays in this vein sound good to you. And of course, throw us game suggestions if you have any. So, this brings my Let's Play of Amayui Castlemeister to an end. Until we meet again, farewell. <laughs>